Hello everyone, how are you? I hope you are fine. I'm so glad to see you again. In the previous lesson, we saw a basic exercise for right hand, the correct position of our fingers and the right use of the bellows. Today, we are going to see a basic exercise for left hand and the correct use of the bases. Thank you very much. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and activate the little bell. Let's continue. Before to start playing the exercise, we have to consider some things. The first thing is the bass keyboard. This is the bass keyboard where we could find these buttons called bases and chords. And the bass clef sign, which is this. And the bass clef sign means play on bass keyboard. So if we have these notes, it means that we must play them on the bass keyboard. On the other hand, for this exercise and overall for all of this book, we're going to use just two rows of basses. This bass row and this, which is major chord row. A standard bass accordion could have until six rows, starting here. Check. And continuing here. One, two, three, four, five, and six. A standard bass accordion could have until six rows of basses and chords. But for this course, we are going to use just the bass row and the major chord row. Well, let's check the exercise. For the first part, we have this note on the second space of the score and this letter C. So C, C means play C bass note and it means that this note must play in this button, which is C bass note. For the second part, we have this note, CM, in this position. CM means play C major chord. So if we have this note, we must play it in this button, CM, because it is in the major chord row and CM means play C major chord. Okay, so we have C note C here, C bass note, and C major chord here. In the third part, we have a combination of these notes, bass and chords. We have the C bass note and two C major chords. So we have C, CM, CM, C, CM, CM, etc. An important instruction here is this, make these notes short not long, make these notes very short. Let's check the exercise, please. The exercise is first part. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Second part. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And third part. One, two, one, two. For the left hand, we are going to assign a specific number to each finger as well, starting for the thumb. One, two, three, four, and five. And for this exercise, we are going to play the C bass note with the finger number four. And the C major chord with the finger number three. But where is the C bass note? The C bass is here. In our accordion, we have a button different from the rest. In this case, this button has a little indentation or a little hole here. So you can identify this button in this way. This is the note C. And in this direction, we have the C major chord. So we have to play the C bass note with the finger number four. 
and the C major chord with the finger number three. One of the most important things when you are learning accordion is the correct use of the basses. As I said previously, it is very important to play really short basses in order to produce a fine sound. The basses by themselves have a great sonority, that's why it's very important to control them. If you want to produce a beautiful sound, a fine sound, you must play them really short. But if you play the basses deeply, the sound could be aggressive, fine sound. Aggressive sound. Annoying sound. So it's very important to play the basses really short. Short basses. Long basses. It is horrible. Something else for which we should play short basses is for avoiding to waste a lot of air of the bellows. If I play short basses, I'm going to use just a little air. Check it out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, etc. But if I play long basses, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Do you see the difference? If I play short basses and can play several repetitions, more than 15, but if I play long basses, I can play just five or six repetitions. This is applicable for basses and chords. So the first and the second part of this exercise should play in the same way. Check it out. First exercise. One, two, three, four. Close. One, two, three, four. I can play eight repetitions opening and eight closing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five. 5, 6, 7, 8 with chords 4 and 4 1, 2, 3, 4 1, 2, 3, 4 now 8 opening and 8 closing 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 but what about the third part? In this part, we have a waltz rhythm. We should play all buttons really short, like this. The beginners used to play the bass too long, like this. This is not altogether wrong. What is wrong is just to play in this manner and couldn't play with short basses. Imagine if you are playing something like this. But you couldn't play with short basses. This is wrong. If you can play in both manners, it means that you have a great control over the basses. What is totally incorrect is playing long chords. That is incorrect. Check it out. This is totally wrong. I could play short bass and short chords. Or long bass and short chords. But I couldn't ever play long chords. That is incorrect. This is horrible. Well, we are ready to play the complete exercise. First part. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Second part. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. 
third part. One, two. One, two. Remember, you could play more repetitions opening and the same number of repetitions closing. For example, in the third part. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Closing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. In addition, you could practice this exercise in other basses and chords. For example, here. One, two, three, four. Closing. One, two, three, four. Or here. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. That's it for today. Remember to practice this exercise following all of these instructions that I give you and in the next class we are going to see our first piece playing with both hands. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and activate the little bell. Thank you very much, see you later.